go with God, motherfucker. Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking a look at IO Interactive's Hitman Absolution, which comes some six years since the last game and is a long time overdue. The previous game, Hitman Blood Money, made its way onto current gen consoles but was merely an updated port from older generation machines. With Absolution now coming in at the end of the current gen console cycles, does it deliver the ultimate package or has the wait been too long where other games in the genre have evolved? It's clear from the offset that IO hasn't strayed too far from its roots. That'll be great news for fans. Players still engage the open maps in much the same way as before, although there are some fundamental changes to the interface and how the core gameplay mechanics work together. Most notably, there are two sections to the main story offering, with one providing a more condensed, linear approach where lead character Agent 47 simply moves from one area to the next without being spotted. The other is a more traditional setup where players are placed at an insertion point and allowed to explore and find multiple entry points and of course numerous ways to kill lone or up to three main targets. There's a stronger narrative this time where 47's objective lies in rescuing the prized and well sought after wonder child Victoria. This is a motive for the entire game, where 47's targets are all of questionable morals, making his role more like an angel of death than a mindless killer for hire. This theme has run through all the Hitman games, and is no stranger here, backed up by plenty of character revealing cutscenes between missions. IO also injected a fair amount of humour, which can be seen and heard, especially characters Kane and Lynch can be seen, and even models of mini ninjas. Looking at the gameplay, and for the most part, it's all familiar ground, to the point where it hasn't really evolved that much, which can be seen as a good thing. NPC characters follow routines, which loop, giving players a chance to observe, and then choose to be in the right place at the right time to take out the targets unnoticed. While this is key to understanding how the game works, it's not flawlessly implemented, and shows some cracks when key targets don't follow their routines or get stuck. The most obvious change is how disguises are handled, where players can no longer move about with ease in the company of similar dressed opponents. This is perhaps a gripe and something to be praised, as on one hand it does add to the tension in a more visible way, but on the other, somewhat makes disguises redundant as players are forced to sneak around anyway. 47 has been given new instinct powers, which allow him to see through walls and floors to pinpoint enemies and main targets. There are also some abilities thrown in, such as highlighting where enemy patrols will move to. It's a replacement for the old top-down live map screen of the old games, which frankly is something to get used to, although in some ways can make close quarters sneaking a little bit easier, alongside the constantly displayed mini-map. When players don disguises, instinct can be used to pass suspicious enemies, and this adds a layer to how disguises now work. As mentioned, a bit of a hit-and-miss situation. The six year difference between the two games shows, more so in its art direction, where Blood Money sported sharp and plain visuals, Absolution goes for a more gritty stylized look. It's awash with watercolour, touches and doused in flourishes of great lighting and shadow effects, which whilst less clean, exudes a little more realism, although the aged ragdoll physics are still used to full effect. The game's looks certainly have evolved, offering much more vibrancy and detail. However, whilst there are plenty of environments on offer, there aren't so many standout locations on the scale of some of Hitman's past offerings. Some sections and locations feel a little too archaic and lifeless, to the point of feeling more like filler material. However, it's hard to ignore the impressive variety on offer, which is perhaps more important than the game's looks. Absolution's audio is of a high standard, with some impressive orchestral pieces at key moments and a rousing underlying score littered with ambient sound effects. There's a bit more personality this time, as players are treated to NPC conversations which often provide gameplay hints at the same time. The main cast perform well as expected, with some convincing performances all round. Whilst overall the plot and script isn't the most complex, it does its job of providing an entertaining theme throughout the game. Hitman Absolution provides quite a lengthy campaign and several difficulties to toy with. The 
Easiest provides no real challenge, where players can run and gun if they choose, and the toughest requiring cat-like instincts or good knowledge of the levels as all assists and HUD are switched off. Alongside various challenges which involve performing specific actions and collecting weapons and items, a score breakdown to improve on, there's lots of incentive to replay levels trying new things. However, in doing so, it does highlight how rigid the AI and design can be at times. IO have addressed this somewhat with an online contracts mode, which allows players a chance to create their own custom missions complete with their own parameters, such as not being spotted or using specific disguises and weapons to make the kills. These puzzle-like missions make for excellent extras to create and play, extending the life of the game further, although sometimes errors and glitches do rear their ugly heads. IO have created a social aspect to the contracts, where players can share, compete and like missions from friends and other users. However, the interface could have been better implemented and is a bit fiddly keeping track of things. It's also going to become a pretty crowded place, where some players created missions might not get seen by anyone, which is a shame if it's really good. Hitman Absolution heralds the return of Agent 47, which will please fans of the series no end. All the sneaking, subterfuge, accidents and props remain intact, although some moments might begin to grate a little. When it's at its high, Absolution delivers a comprehensive and somewhat expected Hitman game that's clever, detailed and full of neat twists and turns. When players are allowed to free roam the game is when it's at its best, and with adaptive gameplay for gunners and sneakers makes for a tight and entertaining outing. Absolution hasn't really changed the formula that much, and perhaps it would have been nice to see less predictability with the AI. However, as it stands, the game works well and can't be faulted for sticking to its roots. If you're a fan of stealth, then Absolution is a must-have game. The contracts mode alone makes for a challenging and seemingly infinite number of ways to experience the game and all its trimmings. Action fans will still find lots to enjoy here as they can shoot their way through the game as well. All said and done, Hitman Absolution is a quality game experience despite its flaws and well worth checking out. Hitman Absolution scores an impressive 9 out of 10. I'm Rob Cram, thanks for watching. Smug bastard. He's not the one who got shit in his sights. And what the hell is wrong with this fucking bitch this time? Yeah. <laughs>